Hey, what's going on everyone? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at IG-11 from the Credit Collection. So this was a line that I was not really interested in at first, but after getting the Death Trooper from this same line, I was like, you know, these things are actually pretty cool. And this was already on sale and I had the monthly coupon from GameStop that I was trying to use up before the month uh, ran out. So this was about 15 bucks, so not bad. And as you can see, it comes on this beautiful card with the end credit artwork, Star Wars The Mandalorian. Through the bubble, you can see the figure it comes with an E11 and a, I'm pretty sure this is a DLT-19X. And you got the Imperial credit up there. So these characters that are on this little Imperial credit, R-O-W-E, I think it was Justin from Out of the Basement that told me that he either heard or read somewhere that it stands for redeemable only within the Empire. I don't know if that's canon. I don't know, but it totally makes sense. I mean, I can't think of any other reason why they would put R-O-W-E on the little Imperial credit. So I thought that was kind of cool. And there's the back of the card, Star Wars. You get the same picture as the front and just more of it. So you got Mando and IG-11. You got a short blurb in various languages, barcode, stuff no one reads. And on the bottom, through the plastic, you can see that little piece of paper that they stick in every single one of them. I'm going to get the credit collection IG-11 open. Let's take a look at him. All right, so I got Credit Collection IG-11 open, and let's just take a look at it from head to toe. And I got the other, you know, the original back there to do some comparisons to in a second. But this paint job is, it's bizarre. It's like a salmon color, I guess you could say, and it's trying to focus on the one back here in the back. Let me move this. Yeah, so like a salmon color, bandoliers, kind of a plum. It's too bad this doesn't open, you know, for the, uh, for the thermal detonator when he must initiate self-destruct. But you know with this sort of goldish color, you can see the detail really nice. On the arms, you got some nice dark, kind of a plum going on up here. This side, it's more of a turquoise, looks kind of nice. These little rubber bits, they sort of get in the way of articulation. I'll, I'll show you that in a second. I think they look good, but uh, I kind of wish they would have just done it in plastic and made a cutout to where you could get slightly more than 90 with the elbow, but eh, that's what we got. And then for weapons, I mean, these wacky little pinchers here, he can't hold the blasters, so they put pegs in there. So there's two on this side, one on this side, this two on this side, they didn't really think something through. I'll, I'll show you in just a minute with the long blaster, but yeah, two here and just one on this side. Yeah, but that's what the back of the arm looks like. You got this little thing sticking out, got some like, I don't know if this is part of like hydraulics or something. Got nice big canisters back here. The back of the bandolier fades from purple to brown. Kind of cool. And you got some nice little, I don't know, little things, little designs in there. Very nice. And then sort of salmon color bleeding into this gold. And that's what the back looks like down here on his butt. Got some dirtiness, more dirtiness down here. Back of the legs are just gold. On the front, you got these hoses coming down, which are kind of the same color as his head. Yeah, and they're very stretchy, uh, but not too stretchy. You do have to be careful with bending the legs. And down here on the lower leg, you just got some more dirtiness on top of the gold. And there's his feet. Yeah, it's definitely a cool looking figure. I mean, it's not stellar by any means, but it is, it, it's neat. And I'm glad I picked it up. So as far as articulation on this guy, the head can rotate, you know, all the way around. And as far as looking down, he has a hinge right up there at the top of his torso if you want him looking down. The arms go all the way up and they can rotate around. And this is what I was talking about with this rubber right here. That's about all you get with the elbow. Just, yeah, not quite 90, which is a shame, especially if you want to recreate that. You don't have quite that kind of bend at the elbow, but that's what we got. So you've got a swivel down here just below this rubber thing at the elbow. Yeah, it, it rotates right there. And at the wrist and the hand, you got nothing. And you have no kind of swivel at the midsection here. You only get this bend up at the, you know, up here. But there's no kind of swivel. His little skinny legs get up that far. They go back about to there before this really starts to pull tight. They don't go out at all, which is unfortunate because I would love to stick this one on the speeder bike, but they, yeah, there's no out on the legs. If you scoot this hose over to the side, you can get this knee up to about right there before it really starts to pull. And this knee gets just a little bit farther. You've got a swivel at the upper thigh. You've got a swivel down here at the foot. 
and the feet go down that much and they go up that much. And as far as comparing the two, there they are side by side. I mean, it's obviously the same figure. I think the detail is very good on both. I think being a little bit darker, you can see more of just all these little bits. I don't know, they tend to stand out just a little bit more on the original. You know, but this one is nice. And from the side, that's, that's what that looks like. It's the same. Everything's the same. The head is the same. Yeah, just different paint. I think I still like this one better, but this one is pretty neat. And as far as accessories for the credit collection, there's the E11. It is just flat black. There's nothing special about it. You've got a little extended mag there, but it's just all one color, which is unfortunate because the E11 that came with the original has this nice silver wash over the whole thing that makes it look kind of weathered and I don't know, just makes it look more real. I kind of wish they had did that with this one because they did all the wacky paint on the figure itself. It would have been nice if they would have painted the blaster just a little bit. Yeah, so that's a big difference there. I really like this one here. And same goes for the heavy blaster rifle. This is the one that came with the original. This is the one that came with the credit collection. This one is so much better with this nice silver wash over the whole thing. Makes it look more metallic, makes it look more real, more worn. The credit collection is just flat, dark gray, boring. In the picture, it's kind of got the same kind of gold color. It would have been nice to have something on there, but that's what we got. So if you want the E11 in the right hand, you can just peg that in like that. And he holds that very well. It's not gonna go anywhere. And I think that looks pretty good. So if you want the E11 in the left hand, it's not gonna work. The grip stops there in his hand, and then the peg and the hole do not line up. See, it stops too soon. So if you want the long blaster on the left hand, yeah, that works fine. It's not coming out. So if you want the long blaster in the right hand, the peg is right there. So it pegs in, but the stock of the rifle hits the other peg. So you have to sort of kick it off to the side a little bit, which is kind of goofy. So they want you to put the E11 in the right and the DLT-19 in the left. Yeah, so the blasters are a little funny as far as where they want you to put them, but it's still a cool figure. But I'll probably wind up just posing him just like this one with the long blaster in the back. And that just slides in there just like that. Now, it doesn't stay in there all that well. See, it, it'll fall out. But if he's just on the shelf, it's not going to go anywhere. And I think that's actually a pretty good look. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy I picked this up. I mean, I love the Death Trooper from this line. So now I have two from this. I think it's really neat that they did this with the crazy colors. But... Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm happy. And I almost forgot. There's the Imperial Credit with R-O-W-E in Arabesh. Yeah. I kind of like the whole redeemable only within the Empire. I think that, I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, it's just a solid piece of plastic. There's nothing much to it. That's what the back looks like. There's nothing. That's what that looks like. Yeah, but please share your thoughts below. I would love to hear from you guys and see what you think of this whole credit collection. Do you love it? Do you absolutely hate it? Do you think it's just okay? I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this one. And again, I love the Death Trooper from this line. I think he looks awesome. But I do think IG-11 is pretty cool too. And if you like videos on Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video and subscribing to the channel and be sure and turn on notifications. I'm always posting something on Black Series and I would certainly appreciate it. And I just thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see y'all next time.